Meghan Markle is loving her new life. According to a new report from People, the Duchess of Sussex is loving living in Canada following her and Prince Harry's shocking announcement that they were stepping down as senior royals and plan to split time between the UK and North America. A source told the publication, quote, It was just this tremendous shift when Meghan returned to Canada. You could tell that she felt so much less stressed. Meghan, Prince Harry, and their son Archie are currently living on Vancouver Island, and an insider revealed to People what the family is up to, saying, quote, They are enjoying living a quiet life. They go for long walks, they do yoga, and Meghan cooks. They are real homebodies who love to chill out with Archie and the dogs. The Duke and Duchess shocked royal fans with their announcement back in January, and ever since there has been a bunch of buzz about the couple. Reports have suggested Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie could possibly take over the royal duties in their absence. Also, Simon Huck, the owner of public relations firm Command Entertainment Group and friend of Kim Kardashian, appeared on The Morning Toast with Claudia and Jackie Oshry and said despite not representing Meghan, his agency is being flooded with offers for the former actress. As one of the, the biggest talent buyers in the country, obviously our agency was flooded with inquiries for Meghan. We really? received... I can't tell you how many offers the first week. Like this, seven figures? Oh, huge. Really? Equity offers. I Dead. Mean, she, I mean, she's not taking any offers right. right now, but it was unbelievable. Simon then guesstimated that if Meghan were to take all the offers to come her way in her first year post-royalty, she could make an incredible sum of money. But Harry and Meghan would likely follow the example set by Barack and Michelle Obama. If she did it all, she would make $100 million. Stop. But it, she won't. Yeah. She's not going to do com like traditional commercial endorsements. She's right. not going to be doing a perfume. She'll do things with like a Quibi or a Netflix. I feel like a perfume would be good for her though. Seeing her all over duty free. I think that optically she just can't do a commercial endorsement at this stage. Even in her. if it was like Chanel. I think that she would get the the look of it would be. I agree. She'll have to be. It'll have to be a judge. It's almost like. What Michelle and Barack are doing, like That's the type what, of endorsements, yes, she'll follow well. in that path. Yeah. yeah, she'll do a book deal, she'll do a, a tour, TV show, a she'll tour. produce. Yeah, speaking with engagement. Oprah. Yes. Yeah. Following the shocking announcement, we chatted with Charlie Langston, a royal expert and female editor at the Daily Mail, and she revealed what life will be like for the Duke and Duchess in the future. In the end, will Harry and Meghan be able to have this private life in Canada that they want? Or can we suspect the tabloids to just constantly hound them? You know, I don't know that they're ever going to be truly private. Unfortunately, you can take as many steps back from the royal family as you want, but you are still a person of huge public interest. And if, as, you know, kind of experts suggest, they do choose to go down the route of releasing books, of doing public speaking engagements, of taking part in Disney films, they really are opening themselves up to the public as quote unquote celebrities. So with the celebrity lifestyle comes a certain amount of public and media interest. And I think that that's something that the two of them are gonna have to put up with moving forward, particularly if they choose to put themselves out there into the public eye even more so than they have done now. It's a bit of a kind of double-edged sword when they say that they're stepping back from the royal family and they no longer wish to take part in kind of the royal family's media relations. They no longer wish to deal with the royal rota. Yes, that has its advantages, but it also has its disadvantages because essentially you are stepping back from the protection that the Royal Road to provided you with. You may not like have liked everything that was written about you in the press. However, the Royal Road to treats the Royal family with respect. Those journalists within that kind of Royal correspondent pool are very carefully monitored by the palace. They have a very good relationship with the palace. They're told when they've stepped out of line and they're kind of treated accordingly. And that's not something that Harry and Meghan will be able to have moving forward because if they've chosen to no longer deal with that, they lose both the advantages and the disadvantages of what that means. What do Harry and Meghan ultimately want? Our sources suggest that Harry and Meghan in the long term want to move away from royal life almost entirely. And I say almost because they really do kind of want to keep a toe in the, you know, in the pond, if that makes sense. They want to keep their you know, HRH titles. They wish to maintain positions as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They also want to do work on behalf of the royal family with regard to charities that are very close to their heart. They're planning, we understand, to launch their own charitable entity. We don't yet know what that will be. But I think the truth of the matter is they enjoy 
the respect and the kind of cachet that being a member of the royal family carries. However, what they don't want is to be beholden to the royals in terms of their schedules, in terms of the way they live their lives, and in terms of the way that they bring up their son. I think they want to be able to dictate much more what they do and who they share it with. They really want the opportunity to pick and choose members of the media that they speak to rather than working with the Royal Rota in the UK, which is a group of royal correspondents, each attached to different newspapers. At the moment, Harry and Meghan have no control over which members of the press have access to them. That's something that they're really eager to change moving forward. And they also want the opportunity to earn their own money. Branding experts say that the two of them are going to be worth around $500 million. So even though they might be losing a bit of royal funding, they stand to earn a lot more as kind of members of the public almost, VIP members of the public, than they ever did as senior members of the royal family.